I think at this point in time, you guys know how much I love soup. Especially in the winter, especially during the cold months. I am a Sunday soup kind of gal. Um, and butternut squash was actually on special. So I went and bought a bunch. Actually, I bought three and they were huge. So cut them up. And I was thinking, first I was going to do like a white bean butternut squash bisque. And then I was like, yeah, I just did beans. I also made chili over the week. So like, it's a lot. So I was like, let's stay classic. Let's keep it classic and make creamy roasted butternut squash soup. And I am gonna make a decent amount. So I got my large pot on the stove and I did some of the prep already just cause you've seen me do it a million times. But uh, carrot, celery, and onion, small dice. In here is my seasoning. It's cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, pumpkin pie seasoning, salt, and pepper. Um, this makes a world of a difference. And this is gonna go into our, our broth. Uh, pulled chicken stock from last night. I'm just letting it sit so I can get the fat off the top. And these are all my butternut squash. They're cut in half. All the seeds are taken out. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna rub these with oil, put them on our sheet pans that I have ready to go, get them in the oven for around 45 to 50 minutes. I want them to roast. Bring out all that sweetness, all that natural sugar that's in there. Because then I'll have my broth going. We'll scoop the squash in with puree. We're ready to go. All right, so we have the squash cut. Um, I don't know if you guys watch uh, Daphne Oz, uh, Dr. Oz's daughter. She does like TikTok and recipes, and Instagram. They actually have a new show, like a daytime cooking show. She's awesome to watch. And she did this... Um, chili in the butternut squash and that I'm going to try next week and she also talked about roasting her squash so I kind of took a tip from her because I always used to put my squash face up um just because it was the way I was shown but the way she was shown tossing it in the oil and putting it face down and keeping the similar size pieces together on each sheet pan so that they cook more consistently which obviously we know we want everything to cook consistent but the squash is going to go in. It's going to take probably 45, 50 minutes. We want it super, super tender. So I'm just doing it in stages because I didn't have a bowl big enough. I have a lot of olive oil in here. Coating these and getting them on our sheet pan so that they can get in our hot oven. All in the prep. Got my carrot, celery, and onion. My pumpkin spice, nutmeg, allspice, sea salt, black pepper. We got our chicken stock, our big pot with oil, and... Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, that was the sizzle. Our base to the soup is gonna get started. So, coating our mirepoix really well. I'm gonna get this sauteing, and then when it's almost done is when we're gonna add in our seasoning mix so it toasts up before we add the stock. And remember, our butter and squash is in the oven, roasting, so that all we have to do is scoop it in here, puree and season, Maybe a little cream, haven't decided yet, but let's get these cooked. These have been going for a little bit now, and we're adding in our seasoning mix. And I want this to coat all the veggies and toast up a little bit. Oh my God, it smells like Thanksgiving. Holy cow, that smells so good. I know it doesn't look that pretty, but it smells so good right now. Okay, let these cook for a minute. I wouldn't walk too far away from this. I would stay here and keep stirring. This has been cooking for around six minutes. We're gonna add in our stock. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, giving this a stir, lowering the heat, and I'm gonna get this simmering for around 30 minutes. All right, our butternut squash is out of the oven. Um, they are super tender. I just use a fork to check it. And then in here, you guys, it's the chicken broth with the carrot, celery, and onion, and the seasoning of the pumpkin pie, the nutmeg, the allspice, the cinnamon, the salt. So I'm actually gonna move that to the side because I already put it um, in here. And we're gonna do this by batches. I have a big bowl. And as we blend, see, once it's nice and hot, I'm just gonna flip them over. Do you see that? Oh my God, that's like all the natural sugar that just like comes out. We're gonna use a spoon and you're gonna put this into your blender and it's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna do them all. 
You can wait till it cools, but why, why not struggle and do it while it's hot? Um, and then we'll, once it's all in the bowl, we'll season it with salt and pepper. Maybe a little cream, we'll see. Let's get it all scooped. Once it's in your blender, start it off slow. Be careful because it's hot inside. And you can start going and it's gonna become nice and creamy. You can't hear me, but I'm gonna blend it all. But at the end, once it's in the bowl, if you want to make it a little bit more refined, a little res restaurant quality, just pass it through a china cap or a strainer. It's going to get all that fiber out. I personally at home, I enjoy that. I like that thickness of the soup. Um, but if you're trying to do a nice elegant dinner, feel free to strain it. But we're going to blend it all up before we season it. So it's super hot, so just be careful. But I'm just pouring it right into the bowl. Oh my God. Who does that? It's like dessert. Like seriously. Oh, it's so good. Um, but again, woo, ladle in the broth. I gotta get better at this. Ladle in the broth. Scoop your squash and blend. So we blended it all, all together in the bowl. Um, definitely gonna need a little bit of salt. And some fresh ground pepper. And now, you can add in a little bit of heavy cream to give it that velvetiness. My trick is I use a little bit of half and half because around a quarter cup, just because it gives that little bit of sweetness. Um, and since it all was in the blender already, I'm just, I am just mixing it together. Um, and if it's a little bit on the thick side, because it is a puree soup, um, you can always add a little bit of warm chicken stock, but Cream kind of just makes it so velvety, delicious. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna get the soup cup because I'm gonna already put it in quart containers. Um, but I'll show you a different avenue. But it is absolutely perfect. When butternut squash soup makes you this excited, it came out so good. Gonna put in core containers, giving one to my neighbor. Got lunch for the week. Probably gonna give it to the boys for school tomorrow for lunch. Piece of bread, delicious, amazing. If you have extra, you can put in core containers and freeze it. Take it out when need, put it in a crock pot to heat slow over the day. Pick up a baguette and you got dinner. If you try making our butter and squash soup the way we did it, tag me. You know I wanna see it. It smells so good. Bye.